are you doing? Miss me? Did you miss me? You sleepy? Sleepy today? You had a big you had a big weekend. You played with horses. You had kids take you out. Hmm. You're also laying on my NMDs. Thanks. <laughs> Look how good you're getting though, being around shoes. You're not eating them anymore. You're growing up. You're growing up, son. You can go outside in a minute. Mm. Okay, I'll check back in with you in a minute. Oh, good morning. Back in Colorado. Home for a couple of days, I think. Well, yeah, I don't know yet. Keep you updated. I might be leaving another couple of days. We'll see. There's some things that have to get worked out. Let's see. So, before we left, I uh, ended up boxing up the shoes that I'm going to sell. Some people are mad at me, but you guys will get over it. I think there's like 50 pairs almost. So, I've got to kind of inventory all this stuff and then just see what the going price is for it and then come in underneath that. Yeah, so i got to do that today. And I've got a little bit of catching up to do with design stuff. I need to get to the shop. I don't know if it's gonna happen today or tomorrow. Um, I did get my Calabasas pants in extra large size because that's what size I normally wear. I'm wearing the burgundy ones and extra large is fine. I mean, they're a little baggy, but it's not like people were saying they were in the sense of they were gonna be hammer pants. Extra, and I'm big, like I think some people have problems with it because they're like smaller. Like, so if you're small, you, then maybe they're too big, you know, but I'm like a full grown, pretty large man. So extra large is, total, is totally fine. So uh, yeah, so I'll be selling those mediums here ASAP. They'll probably go up with the shoes along with some other stuff. Uh, yeah, I just got some shit to do. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for Ern to get here. He should be here any minute and I'm gonna do inventory while I wait and then we'll get this day started momentarily. Oh. Shout out to everyone who came out to SneakerCon Toronto. Toronto was huge. Toronto was nuts. Like, that was, I don't know. That might have been the biggest line. I really can't remember, but that shit was crazy. So shout out to Toronto. I love your city. I'm definitely gonna be back. Um, I had a really good time there. So Toronto, keep it real for sure. Y'all keep keeping it real, okay? Yeah, glad I didn't try on the mediums. Can you imagine the fucking Peter Pan shit that would be going on if I tried on the mediums? But we do have this box right here. I can't cut with my right hand. Look, let's do. Can help me. There you go. Break down. later shoes to wear today you don't know this is like my struggle now I never really know what to wear I changed my mind I put Yeezys on God oh my hair it's everywhere should be enough <laughs> is there enough or there should be more than one case. no I know there is okay. but I thought there was enough in the morning well, there probably is you ready for the very late morning wake and bake here, watch, you're on the mic cord. Tasty. I was gonna not smoke this morning before I played PUBG, thinking that maybe it could help my nervousness. Uh -huh. I don't think a coma could help your fucking nervousness. It's true. I figured it out. No. You didn't do it again. <laughs> like to fuck with you. Our servers are back online. Sorry for the delay, which was longer. Thank you for your patience. That was five hours ago from Player Unknown. Yeah, because I about fucking did it. I fixed it. Ted! Get him, Ted! Square up, dog! He's running. He's running like... Oh! Get him, Ted! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Yeah, you better get that gun before that number two comes in here. 
Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's dead. But there's someone else in the house. Where you get picked off, dude. This is this is what separates the men from the boys. Well. Am I only using fists? I would have to hide out for a while. Oh, not here. Just dude, it is getting so crouch close to me. Crouch down. Get in the shower and crouch down and lay down in it. There for the remainder of the game <laughs> until they make you move. No, I'm not going to stay for do the it. game, okay? No, this is the problem. You just guys... do it. This is what you do in real life. No. <laughs> if this were real life, you would be laying in the shower. So just lay down in the fucking shower. Hold You'll on. probably be the best Let player. Let me regroup. I can't fucking think Where right else is a better place to regroup other than laying down in the fucking <laughs> bathtub? Oh, you're fucking tripping, dog. Hold on. Stop. Just I need a moment. Know yourself. Just I, lay down in that dude, bathtub. Dude, I'm trying to find I'm door. waiting for someone I to come a... get you. <laughs> you're killing me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no, someone is shooting! Someone is shooting! Someone is shooting! <laughs> oh my god. I... Oh my god. He's going for that car. Dude. Oh yeah, of course he's going for the fucking car. He's gotta get in. He's gotta get in. He's in the wrong seat. Pull that whip. Amazing, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> I went out like a fuck, you G, bitch. What? Oh, so today, Omar, go on. This isn't for you. Today has been uh, pretty busy. So I had all this. So StockX Day is coming up. There was some scheduling issues that I had to try to work out. I think as of right now everything is worked out hopefully and I should be there but I also thought I also thought that it was um on Saturday not Friday which basically leaves me leaving here on Thursday afternoon being in Detroit for Friday and then coming back early Saturday morning so um it's like a real quick thing and it's a grind yeah which means that i don't have any time for shit so today once i discovered this i realized there's a bunch of other stuff that's really not fun that i have to go take care of so i'm gonna do all that tomorrow we go to the gym finally got approved for this ridiculous gym so i have to go there and sign in tomorrow and like get orientation so i can start training in my basketball career i know some of you thought that it was a fluke it's not i still have to organize all these shoes so this is all the stuff that's like going and i've got to itemize it and price it, and then we've gotta take photos of it all, we've gotta upload it all, and then we gotta get it all ready to get shipped. So there's a lot of shit just going on right now, so I have to do all that. And then plus Twitch stream this morning, um, and then there's Twitch stream at night, which I'm trying to keep up with that schedule on Twitch as well, because one, Twitch is awesome, two, which is awesome, and um, yeah, so that's pretty much what's happened today. There are a few things to talk about though, even though there's not a lot of vloggy vlog footage, there's a few things that have happened, so, fret not package came in and i don't know who it's from really so i figure we just open it oh shit i need to pay nick for this my homie sent this uh my homie actually you guys know bigfoot sneaks cops for me this hoodie and i gotta paypal him but this is the mastermind hoodie everybody's asking me about the mastermind uh collab i thought the collab was super lazy but this hoodie is super cool because it's all like i don't know if you can really tell on camera this sort of mesh kind of breathable material i don't know how to explain it but yeah this thing's dope shout out to the homie for getting it it's expensive retail which i guess it's not expensive for mastermind but retail is like 230 or something and the other thing that everyone's asking about i know i'm a little late even though i had pairs are the calabasas uh track pant that everyone one just wants to know how it fits da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. these are the black ones i'm still wearing the maroon ones so we'll just talk about the black ones so it's 100 percent nylon the pant is 100 percent nylon it has no drawstring it has zippers on the side pockets which are the only pockets that it has no back pockets on this jammer and then it's pretty much it and then there's elastic around the ankle, which is a good thing. I didn't know if they had those at first. And then of course, just the Adidas, the Adidas and Calabasas branding. And then let's get into fit. So because the main question everyone had was how these fit. Everyone thought they were too baggy, that they were just completely oversized. Um, I think that if you're like a, if you're, if you're small, you know, like if you're like a small person, that they probably are way baggy. You know, like 
they definitely have a baggier, like more relaxed hang to them. The way they hang off your legs, the way everything's cut just hangs differently. But they're not baggy to the point where it's bad. It's It looks good and it feels good. These are actually pretty comfortable track pants, to be honest. So with those, I say if you're like grown adult, large man such as myself, you could probably go your true size. But if you're, you know, on the smaller side, skinny, something swallow you, then you should probably downsize it. That's my expert advice. So body types, man. Crazy. Fourth installment. I believe it's the only the fourth. I rattled my brain today trying to think if there was another one, but I'm pretty sure this is the only the fourth one that has released. And we have all four. Which is the Nemesis Tango 17 plus 17 plus 17 plus agility knit 360 ultra boost. 360 agility knit ultra boost. This is the solar orange colorway. Looks like this. And I don't know if this camera will do it the justice. It is bright as shit. It's super, super bright, like crazy bright. Brighter than you can imagine bright. Definitely has a more orange than red tint. This is it compared to the solar red ultra boost. But the color is pretty spot on with the Alexander Wang high glow. So, you know. But yeah, so agility net, we've talked about this a little bit and it's funny because the other day I wore the black pair and um, that was like the third or fourth time I've worn those and they've started to loosen up, which makes the shoe a lot more comfortable. Past reviews, I've talked about the shoe not being crazy comfortable in the sense that the upper is really tight, like the agility bands or the agility knit, whatever you want to call it, are real restrictive. They're very supportive because it's very much just like kind of a casting of your foot. There's not a lot of wiggle room in there. It's it, it's just super, super stiff. But the more you wear it, the more it loosens up and it just starts to be comfortable and then the support really comes into play and it's it's a nice shoe to wear. Um, and then the support in the back is just crazy. The, there's cushioning. In, so, so yeah, the model itself is growing on me, especially in the fact that the more I wear them, the more that I like. You're still not getting ultra boost comfort. It's just not the same. But for a couple of hours, you know, they're, they're great. Um, so agility knit, bright orange, solar agility knit, heavy three stripe branding as always, because you have three stripes in each strip. Some people were calling it bacon. I think they might just be hungry. Black three stripe taping. Omar. Take it on somewhere. Uh, black on black, murdered out, heel cup, ult black ultra boost branding that you really can't see. We're in stealth mode, even though we're in super bright shoes. The agility logo, boost of course, continental sole, and a matching solar orange torsion system. And that is the shoe. So yeah, like I said, the, these are not ultra boost. You're not gonna get the same comfort. They are definitely uh, a lifestyle, it, soccer influenced shoe, I would say. Some people have said that they like to use them for indoor turf soccer. I don't know anything about that, so I'm not gonna speak on it. But yeah, and then this one doesn't have a lot of glue stains, which is nice. My black bear's got glue stains all over that motherfucker. Uh, true to size, I say on this, this is not a shoe that I can size down on, and this is not a shoe you wanna wear without socks. I know a lot of you don't wear any shoes without socks. Sometimes you gotta throw a shoe on, and uh, this one feels like goddamn shit when you put no socks on it. It's just, it's off. And then real quick, quick comparison of all, is all of the tangos we have so far. Don't know which one would be my favorite. So far the black have gotten the most wear, but um, yeah, I mean, I, obviously I like, I like them all, so.
And as far as shoes for sale go, I've been getting hit up like crazy about how the process is going to work. You're most likely just going to log onto the website and then there will be everything will be loaded and then you can check out. Uh, international shipping will be fine. There should be no problem with that. Obviously, it's going to cost more, uh, but you know, that's just the way it is. And yeah, hopefully that'll be up on Thursday, maybe even tomorrow if we can get it all done. I think that's it, guys. I really, there's so much shit going on today. So if you're around tonight, I should be on Twitch streaming and I'm going to get some work done, inventory this shit. And then I also have to get ready for the You Are Your Enemy long sleeve and hoodie drop that's coming most likely on Sunday now. All right, cool. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace. Peace.